Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by List Tax Debate. Today we're looking at free agent and creating recurring sales invoices. But just before I do, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed to the page. If you're returning, good to see you. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. We do new videos every week on cloud accounting software. We're doing a mixture of QuickBooks, Zero, free agent, cash flow, Sage Cloud Accounting. We've got other software that we do, so it's good to see you. Also, hitting that like and comment section, comment section is a very, very big help. We interact, we love the interaction. Uh, we reply to every single comment. So now let's get into the video. So as you can see, we're on our dashboard and we want to create a recurring invoice. So for us as an accountancy practice, it'll be for our monthly services that we agree with a new client. Um, so we would go into work and then recurring invoices and then we would go to create a new profile so we'll add a profile and we'll select ABC construction it use it will ask us about the reference so we we'll use the standard invoicing sequencing that you've got so whatever that's set up as the start date so we'll put today's date the frequency now you have quite a few options here but generally monthly you set your payment terms so if it's seven days 14 30 if it says zero it says it will say due on receipt on the invoice it will ask you for your currency well, it's part of the CIS, which is obviously not applicable. If there's any additional text you want to put at the bottom of the invoices, you can also then select here that you email the invoice automatically. So this makes the process very automated so you don't have to get involved. Obviously, email payment reminders if the invoice goes unpaid, but you'd hope that it will be paid quite promptly as it's a recurring invoice that you've obviously had an agreement with to set this up. And then you go to create new profile. All right, okay go to df now as you can see here you need to have an e email address in the client i thought there was there obviously wasn't so i'll just choose a different client for this example there you go so we've got now the invoice up now we just need to add an item so what we can do is do uh, one service uh, monthly accountancy services and we'll pick a figure of £100, create and finish. Uh, I can't spell accountancy, but okay. Uh, it's been a long day. Um, so as you can see here, we've got it as £100 plus VAT, so the invoice is set for £120. Uh, we can add other invoice items if there's different options that they've selected. Now, we're all done. All you then to need to do is hit activate. And what that will do is that will then activate uh, the invoice it will then say that the next invoice is on the 4th of the 5th and 4th of the 6th and so on until you tell it then you want to stop that is it so if I now go back to my desktop dashboard um, I can then go back into my recurring invoices and I can see here that it was last recurred on the 4th of the 4th and it's monthly and it next recurs and it's active and the payment terms are 30 days and it never ends so i can see here and i can make alterations to the profile so sorry if i go back if i go to the profile i can see here that i can edit the invoice um, if i click here it brings me back to the profile itself um, where i can make that it's not 30 days it's actually due on receipt or if there's any text i wanted to add i want to retick the box that it'll e emails the invoice automatically so you can make changes throughout this recurring profile so that's it and it's a very very simple process that will automatically create every month and then you can get on and do what you need to do so that's it for today like i said at the start if you're new here please hit that subscribe button please hit that bell notification we're bringing out videos every week on cloud accounting solutions hit that like button if you like the video and you found it informative also if you've got any questions drop me a comment or even if it's just to say thank you, that helped me, that saved a lot of time on my basis, or I'm not sure, can you please explain this in a bit further? I encourage the interaction. I encourage the comments. So until next time, stay safe.